Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. This is a gift from um, Tim Sholopoff. Tim Sholopoff, you've been to visit. Bastard. Okay. Bin Romick. I've heard of Bin Romick. Yeah. yeah. So this is the story goes back to late 1800s, right? No. And before you say anything, <laughs> before you even say anything, I have a basically an interpretation of the brand that I've had in a glass relatively few times. Mm -hmm. But from what I remember, this is one of those very old distilleries mm -hmm. that is underrated and you yes. don't really hear much about it unless you're pretty deep into the whiskey scene. Yes. Okay. Accurate. Yeah. Mm, and uh, this is their first, uh, re they, they canned wow. some 100 proof releases and they've replaced it with, they're now doing cask strength release as one of their special releases. Yeah. And this one is batch one. Now they released like five different batch ones yeah. to different markets. So it was like th every market got batch one, but it was a different batch, mm -hmm. right? Our batch one mm -hmm. was distilled in 2007 and bottled in 2018. Okay. So 11, 11 years, years old, old yeah. right? And it's cask strength. Can I tell you this right at now? Fifty eight point two. So based on nothing that other than but the hand the, smell. the spill on the side of the mm. bottle, and the hand smell smells amazing. Oh, yeah. On the hand smell, they do lightly peated and then sherry barrel and bourbon barrel. Can can I say this? It, it, it's not this is not meant to be insulting, mm. but in terms of like the bottle design, right? Nothing amazing. And I kind of... I like it. I, well, but again... It's, Actually, I like it a lot. Nah, it's nothing amazing. Yeah, I'm all it's in not, on that. Nah, it's nothing amazing. We got like almost papyrus on the font here. Nah, I like it. But 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 it's fine. It's understated. Yeah. Right? But it's not eye-catching. Yeah. You're the understated guy. Yeah, absolutely. That's why you like it. Yeah. But in terms of a bottle design that you see amongst a sea of bottles and you go, oh, that looks interesting. I want to pick that up. That does not have any element of that going on. And I kind of... If this is as good tasting as it does smelling in my hands. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, good, I don't want people to pick this up. Yeah. I want this. I love this bottle shape. I, I, I want this to be kind of an understated and hidden gem for people that once you get deep in the whiskey, you need to be able to find those surprising. Yeah. It's like, this is why I, I explore. Yeah. And again, I'm just going on nothing other than the smell, but damn, does this smell amazing. Oh. I'm putting my nose in the glass. Yes. Come on. A slightly smoky honey cream earth and vegetation, damp wood. Yeah, there's a caramel, there's like a, a wood burning kit type of seared wood. Oh, there's a, hmm. There's an almost. That mossy peat. Yeah, mm. there's an almost sulfuric butterscotch. You keep saying sulfuric. Yeah, and I think it's because it, it's that little zesty nose impact mm. where you smell and you get that almost right. burnt feeling in your nose because i'm very hesitant to say the word sulfuric unless it's like damn that's no it's there that, but sulfuric is one of these things where it's very off-putting it smells like rotten eggs no 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 it's in all sherry anything aged in sherry has a sulfuric note in it i, I know it's so but it's not like rotten egg I'm, sulfur. I'm saying that whenever people hear sulfur burnt match there we go there we go. When you hear sulfur, you're thinking it's like, oh, that rotten eggs. I just smell like burnt match. Yeah. Oh, come on. Like, remember the trick you tried to learn from brushwood and that feeling in your nose? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I did that well. Dude, I, I never figured out how you can do that trick with a straight face. I tried it. I successfully did it. Mm -hmm. And it never got less painful. Yeah. Never. No yeah. matter how many times I tried it, yeah. never got less no, painful. No, it's, it's, it's a thing. Magicians are crazy. They are, man. Gluttons yeah. for punishment. Yeah. All right, I'm going in. Oh, I got, uh, wait, wait, wait. I got uh, berries and cream all of a sudden. Oh, I was about to say, uh, there's like a waffle note. You're, yeah. You cook waffles. If you had, oh, oh you know why? The, um, the yeasty note of waffles. Okay. Like Belgian waffles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's landing. Oh, that's still going. You know what that is? Mmm. You know what that is? Hmm. That is a beautiful balancing act between your richer, fruitier scotches and your smoky Isla scotches. Oh, yeah. No, it's the delicate touch of smoke. Yeah. As a flavor add instead of as a dominant It's feature. a beautiful accent. And mm. uh, you know what? If somebody was going to ask, because we you know, get asked pretty often, 
eyeless scotch. Right. It's too much. How do I like dip the toe? toe? This has oh. very, very recognizable amount of peat, but it's not the most heavy handed mm. element that you have to fight. Damn, with. I always forget how much I love these guys. It's really good. I'm going to compare it to the classic 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? What did you say the age statement on this was? 11. 11. Okay. The classic 10 is a lower oh, proof. This is cast strength, yeah. But you can get this one pretty much in any store with a good whiskey. 58.2% ABV. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you've got a good whiskey selection, you can get the Tim Benaromic 10. Benaromic. Oh, the, this is good. But that cask is just kicking the door down. This man. is uh, lighter and sweeter on the yeah. nose. And it's 43% too. Mm. Still good. Definitely more on the honeysuckle floral direction. Oh, wow. It is nice though. Still a soft oh, touch. Beautiful. Vanilla cream in there too. More smoke in this one. Ooh. Oh, both uh, are, there's a lot of layers to both of these. Oh, yeah. They just un, sort of unroll and mm -hmm. uncoil. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. This may be one of my new kind of pet distilleries that I want to like uh, explore a bit more. You want to know a cool story about this? I don't know why I was always putting it kind of just in the back burner of my... Uh, top of mind set of whiskeys. This is always like, oh, that was nice. And then I'll set it back and then focus on something else. But this, I think, do they have a lot of releases or is it relatively small number? It's pretty small. I mean, yeah. it's not like hundred, it's not like Brooklady or, right. you know, Ardbeg where you've got like 20 variations of no age statement. Mm -hmm. um, did I get rid of our independent bottling scotch? I feel like I did. I used to. I pulled it out and I can't remember. I moved it upstairs. Mm. So you've heard of them, Gordon McPhail. They do independent bottle releases. Okay. Right. Their history goes back to owning this distillery early on. Hmm. Right. And, but the family that currently owns the distillery, their ancestor helped create and blend whiskey for these guys. Okay. Back in the day. So their family has been involved in this distillery for like a hundred plus years. Yeah. Yeah. But only in the late nineties did they buy it outright dude and it was their dream to own it i think that's pretty fucking cool it's like yeah, yeah. hey your family's always been on the property always mm -hmm. been working around you're gonna buy out the distillery yeah that's pretty cool yeah they got they got roots mm -hmm. that's super nice pleasantly uh, you know what? i'll say surprised but it's not like i ever had a bad experience with the bin romic mm -mm. but i think it's just one of these brands that's great but it's never top of mind you're never really thinking of it whenever you are asking yourself uh what am i gonna pour a glass of for whatever reason. Yeah. That is really good. Well, they're both really nice. Mm. Uh, this is not, you know, the review for this one. Mm -hmm. But if I want something a little bit, still complex, still a lot of layers. It's a 10. But if I want something a little bit sweeter and more uh, friendly, effortless, softer. I kind of want to add water, but I don't want to fuck with it. It's so good. Come on, man. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm going to do it. This was like a... Like a strawberry fruitiness that happens. Oh, and then that, yeah, that kind of like there's smoke in the air. Mm. Mm. Kind of like you're, you're taking some sweet fruit mm. and then you're smelling some smoke in a distance. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Did mm. you, did you, mm. did you add mm. a little? Mm. Mm. Did you add a little? It brought the um, smoke into the nose. Okay. Oh, and the palate held up. Mm hmm. It softened the edges of everything a little bit, but left all the flavors behind. God. How dare you, Ben Romick? Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's not necessary. That's unacceptable. Jerks. Making such a good whiskey. We're out here rubbing two sticks together trying to make whiskey and they got a fing Zippo. 100 years of experience. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> Joshua Lynch, for the record, that royalty stuff about happy birthday was disputed. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I went and looked it up afterwards, right. but I'm going to use the people who commented in response right. instead. Warner had to pay back $14 million in royalties <laughs> that it <I'd> collected. <laughs> so they paid it, right? and then it got disputed. And then someone else in the comments <laughs> mentioned that the more recently, yeah. they tried to do it again. Yeah, yeah. And they had to disclose all their documents showing ownership. Yeah. Turns out they don't own it. That's very funny. Uh, they don't own it at all. It's very funny. They cannot pursue the copyright. That's very funny. You would think that with $14 million on the line, mm -hmm. maybe you dispute that before you hand over 
14 million dollars yeah instead of after it the sounds fact, like the bean counters just going like they right. said we owe them instead of after the fact trying to claw back 14 million dollars yeah. that you pay these people unnecessarily yeah yeah all right that's pretty funny so ben Rowe mcdam though yeah super great here's to fighting stealing and drinking if you fight me a fight for a friend you steal may you steal your liver signs and if you drink may, may you drink, drink with us, us.